If you're in the Mr. Capital Trading Tournament right now, then you're going to want to listen to what I've got to say. Something huge is about to happen in the market, and if you don't take advantage of this opportunity, you might just have missed your chance to top the charts. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome to the World Series of Trading, the only place where you can make real money trading virtual funds. My name is Ron and I'm a pro trader on the platform. I've been trading for over seven years and I'm here to bring you expert market analysis. But before we get into it, I need to remind you that none of these videos constitute as financial advice or advice of any kind to take any position in any financial instrument. But without further ado, Let's get into it. Hello, play traders, and welcome to this market analysis specifically on oil and indices. Now, you probably know exactly why I'm analyzing oil and indices, and that is because I've just joined the Mr. Capital tournament. Okay, so let's cover it on a fundamental picture. So within the fundamental picture, you might have seen my previous market analysis video whereby I mentioned the fact that markets are in complete turmoil because of the federal reserves 50 base well expected 50 basis point increase in interest rates right that sent the nasdaq the dow and the s p 500 tumbling down and you know the saying when the u.s catches a cold when the u.s sneezes the rest of the world catches a cold right so markets have been tumbling for the past what three four trading sessions and we are about to get to that point whereby we might actually see a new low for 2022 okay so that's the fundamental picture and a new headline that's just hit the wires right now is the fact that sweden and finland might actually join nato right and for those of you who know your geography Finland is right next to Russia and Sweden is right next to Finland. So that will essentially increase tensions between NATO and Russia because of the fact that one of the agreements that was made um, during the early days of NATO was that, well, Russia essentially didn't want NATO to expand and they promised not to expand. But this recent move of Finland and Sweden to to um, want to join NATO could cause some serious tension and could really have some backlash on Ukraine as well. So that's your fundamental picture. Let's get into the charts. Right. And I hope at this stage you can. Where is it? See my screen. There we go. All right, so let's start off with the S&P 500, which we've already seen um, earlier on. I did say that I'd be playing for more downside, and that's exactly what we've got in today's trading session. So as you can see, we've sort of been trading within this very large range. But to zoom in on the picture a little more, this is where we're at right now, right? So now we've gotten this downside move, and now we are challenging the low that we got in yesterday's trading session. Okay, so my expectation is that we probably we probably break through this level a little bit before bouncing back. However, worst case scenario, it is very possible and there is a very good likelihood that we actually break this level and go lower before we act and actually start to test the lows of the year. Right. I definitely pin this as the higher probability play. However, playing this to the short side doesn't provide the best risk reward ratio. So I wouldn't even consider this trade to the short side. The one that I would consider, however, is a long position right off these levels. That one essentially has um, essentially the spring effect, if you want to call it that. So what you'd be playing for there would be a bounce off support, right? So that's the S&P 500. And most of these pictures will be very similar. Then with the Dow, 
I haven't really marked this one out. Um, and from what I can see right here, the Dow has a lot further to fall, depending on whether or not the S&P 500 actually breaks as well. So if the Dow falls further, we could see these lows right over here, around, right around 32,000 on the Dow. Um, and that's what we'd be looking to challenge if we do get lower, if, we, if the markets do move lower within this trading session. However, if we just bounce higher within today's trading session, then thank goodness um, everything's been averted and markets essentially go into a sideways type range rather than going to break the lows of the year, right? Then the next one we have here is the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ is actually about to hit um, the, well, this major level of support right here. And that is essentially because of the fact that the NASDAQ has sold off more rapidly than any other index. And that's because of the fact that the NASDAQ is heavy in tech stocks, right? Now tech stocks, first of all, were already quite richly valued because of the fact that, you know, we got continuous rallies. And when you have companies that aren't making money for most of them, um, that are richly valued, then they definitely have a lot more beta um, with the market. So right here on the NASDAQ, what I'm expecting is I'm expecting this level right here to be tested. And once that level is tested, do we the question is do we get the market move lower immediately after we test this low if the market does move lower then um and convincingly lower then all hell will break loose in the markets as in this support line right over here was previously a major support however now it is just a house built of straw so whatever happens over the next over the next few hours or the next two trading sessions will essentially um, determine what we get going forward, right? Then we've got the Nikkei 225, which has also fallen. However, it was coming off a very, um, very strong rally and then was in sort of the sideways range over here. We've now just broken through this level. And the most obvious play would be to short this one. And that is because of the fact that we've gotten this break. Maybe if we get a retest, might give the perfect opportunity to get short. However, it's all dependent on what happens over the next few hours. Okay. Then the FTSE 100, you've got a little bit of a different picture. FTSE 100 was an index that was a lot more resilient than the other indices when this decline in markets started right and the FTSE was essentially bundling around um this high at the 77 7700 level and we've started to come down with market volatility increasing and it was only when markets really started to push down hard that the FTSE started coming down with it so the FTSE here's the picture it's got a lot more further to fall before we start to test the lows of the year however we've got this really this well this level of support right over here is what i'm expecting to touch before we eventually move back higher or stop worrying as much about the fed or until markets actually feel like we fully priced in a fed 50 basis point rise okay However, with the pound, one other thing that you need to consider with the 50 base point hike um, that is essentially imminent with the Fed is that the FTSE has an inverse correlation with the pound. So as the pound moves lower, right now the pound is moving lower, you definitely expect the FTSE to move higher. However, because of the fact that other market, the US markets in particular are moving down, that's downward pressure on the FTSE. But the good thing is we've got upward pressure on the pound. So the FTSE, if anything, if other markets come tumbling down, the FTSE is going to come tumbling down a lot slower than the others. 
So this is definitely the safest bet if you want to play markets to the long side. Um, just a brief explanation of why the FTSE moves like that. It's because of the fact that um, FTSE 100 companies, the majority of the big companies in the FTSE earn their, earn, earn their, um, their revenue from offshore. So because they earn their revenue from offshore, when the pound weakens, they can then bring back in more pounds, right? So that's the reason for that inverse correlation. Anyway, moving on to the Aussie 200, right? So here's the thing with the ASX. ASX um, just came crashing down the moment markets started falling. However, we do have a level of potential support right over here at 7,164. And it is a house made of straw at this at this point in time with markets in complete meltdown but just like the u.s markets it all depends on how the next few hours of trade go okay then we have got the ibex which is the spanish index and that one hasn't come down as significantly as the others right and that's also to do with the fact that the euro has the the euro is weakened right so because the euro is weakened that increases offshore um offshore earnings the value of offshore earnings so the ibex essentially has the exact same um the exact same inverse correlation that the pound had that the FTSE has with the pound okay so this market is not coming down in a hurry at the moment however over the next couple of hours we could potentially get an acceleration in this sell-off and if we do get an acceleration in the sell-off oh my gosh <laughs> all of these indices are coming down then we've got um the FTSE FTSE myth no 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 that's it sorry we've got the um french index and um France 40 has come down not as fast as the others. The same scenario because of the fact that you've gotten a weaker euro. But we've broken through our, our house of straw right now. And the best play right now would be to short this one in anticipation of a major sell off of the US. So this one is definitely one I would absolutely love to play. We've got low here lower high lower low lower high lower low and we're just about to break into another lower low but this one is significant because of the fact that um we've just broken through made a significant level of support right then we've got the euro stocks 50 euro stocks 50 pretty much the same picture we're getting a lot of downside and it has broken through this minor level of support, which is now resistance and it's confirmed the downside. Now this one, we can definitely expect it to hit 3,453. This is a real possibility. And if you're in your stocks right now, I'd definitely be getting out. So those are your major indices that's how I'm looking to play it within the Mr. Capital tournament. Let's see if it plays out. The next couple of hours of trade are really crucial. Whatever happens over the next couple of hours determines whether these markets completely take a nose dive or if we get some kind of a relief rally before we move lower. Right. So those are the highest probability plays and I'll see you within the tournament. Now, if you like this video, please smash the like button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content just like it. And if you'd like to join in on the fun, we have a trading competition running right now. By the way, the prize pool for 2022 is well over a million dollars, so you do not want to miss out on the action. First link in the description if you want to join in on one of the trading competitions. But other than that, I'll see you in the next one.